Okay, this is a Sagittarius reading for love. So I want you to think of the person you're thinking of. Um, and I am going to do an extended, okay? So how does the person Sagittarius is currently thinking of and dealing with feel about them? How does the person Sagittarius is dealing with or thinking about feel about them currently? How do they feel about Sagittarius, the person they're currently thinking of or dealing with? Um, and then in the extended, I'll cover like how they're currently feeling, what their true intentions are, uh, what actions they're going to take towards you in the month of November. Okay, so I'll give you like a play out of what's going to happen between you and your person or the person on your mind. So if you're, you are in like separation, it, it'll pick up on that too, like in the extended. So. so how does the person Sag is thinking about or dealing with feel about them currently? seen the knight of pentacles the ace of cups the emperor <laughs> this person may know that you're single so you may not be together at the time could be i don't know we'll see we'll see how it comes out how do they feel spirit mm, five of pentacles did y'all put them out of the dog into the doghouse <laughs> so this person's feeling lack right now they feel like you have them out in the cold um, yeah, this person does want to work with you, though, build with you. Um, they also could be thinking that you are, like, dealing with another person. And if there was, like, a disagreement, I kind of feel like they want to work on things with you, okay? So this person's, like, hoping, I feel like, that you'll work with them, continue to collaborate with them. Yeah, six of wands. This person feels like you're... Uh, very good looking or somebody who gets a lot of attention this leo energy um so they are hoping that it you know if things aren't working out the best right now and with the five of pentacles they are hoping that you guys can come back together and work together um kind of like make amends or uh, they're just hope they also okay another thing i'm getting with somebody this person could feel like you're like a workaholic that like you put work before them like work gets most of your attention while they're like at home like alone or something the empress so this person knows you're you're uh, it <laughs> so this person knows your your value that's good they better okay so whoever you're dealing with they view you as the empress so they know that nobody can compare Nobody. Oh, look. Look at this shit. <laughs> so this person knows you're it. Okay. Whether you're, even if you're a male watching the, whoever the female is or whoever you're dealing with, they know you're it. Okay. King of Wands. Could be dealing with the damn King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person's looking over at you like, mm, this bitch. Or, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they're. They care about you, okay? This person wants to work with you. But when they look at you, man, they, they see everything. So when I when I said this bitch, it's a, it's a good way, okay? If you're new to my channel, you'll pick up on my lingo, okay? I'm not, I don't mean any harm. I mean, you'll hear me call people broads. I don't mean any harm by that. I call myself a broad, okay? <laughs> I'm like my best friend. I'm like, come on, broad, let's go. <laughs> it's just how I was raised. Like I have a mouth, okay? Um, this person's looking at you. And they know that you are the Empress. So they're very aware of your value. They're very attracted to you. Mm. This person's in love with you. So you have somebody here who their feelings towards you is love. There's a mutual love between you and this person. Mm. They're... They, <laughs> Something could have happened, okay? Like, you guys might have went from this really loving energy, okay? And now, like, they could have switched up a little bit on you, and now they could be, like, the King of Swords energy, okay? So, and also, like, if you're kind of giving them the cold shoulder by putting them in the Five of Pentacles, they could kind of, like, be a little jaded, like, they, like something like that. Um, 
it's like this person's waiting for you. So like they may have, they may, you know, so they're very passionate about you, but when you put them in the cold and you make them wait or something, they could become kind of like pissy with the King of Swords. Like they could become kind of cold at times. You could be dealing with the damn Gemini. Boy, let me tell you, one day they love you, the next day they just pretend like they don't know who you are. <laughs> so you're dealing with somebody, yeah. This person also could have had a choice, okay? I don't know. If they had a choice between you and somebody else, or they feel like you have a choice between somebody else. Damn, the Seven of Pentacles just fell out. So this person's like looking back at the past, or they're like looking back at the time y'all have like invested in each other. I feel like they're waiting for something here too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I get it. This person, um, Sagittarius, you're dealing with somebody who's afraid you're going to put them out in the cold. They know you're the empress. They know there's a lot of people who are attracted to you. You get a lot of attention. You're very beautiful. You're handsome. Um, if you're a guy, you're handsome. Uh, they feel like there's a choice that you're going to have to make in the future. And this is making this person change on you. I don't know if they're aware of somebody who lives at a distance or they're aware that you have like an ex-husband or they're aware of some damn buddy. This king of pinnacles, uh, they're aware of this person and they feel like if this person was to come on the scene that you would have to choose. Like, like this person would make you choose. Um, or they, or they just know that you're, you know, you're going to choose. They have a worry that they're going to get left out. Okay. So if you're dealing with somebody and you've noticed a shift in their energy, they've become very cold towards you. It's because they feel like there's another individual coming in and that you will have to make a choice and they have a fear that they're not going to get chosen. So that's how this person's feeling. So if you are resonating with this and you're wondering like, why in the hell was that person so passionate and loving and just all over me and then all of a sudden went cold? It, they figured something out. They found something out. Yeah, and it's because they want to be chosen. So you're dealing with somebody who is highly aware that you're high sought after, you're high value. When you're in the Empress energy, huh, you can have anybody you want. Because you're most likely very good looking, very successful, and have money. Okay? And if you don't have all those things, that's how this person views you. Like, this is somebody who would drink your bath water. <laughs> I have to, like, paint the picture for y'all. Okay? So, this person knows you have options. I don't know what they've seen, what they didn't heard. Probably from your big mouth. I bet you money now. <laughs> you might even told them if you don't act right, somebody else will. <laughs> but they know. Okay, so this person's feeling a little cold. They they could be icing you out to protect themselves. They're going to try to protect their heart, I feel like. Because this person is in love with you. Yeah. They fear that you're going to pick another choice and leave them. They feel like you're going to move on. Yeah, and I mean, get in your car and go. Like... <laughs> They feel like you're going to leave. Mm, they feel like you're manifesting this leaving. <laughs> like, they, they literally, they feel like you may just, like, um, be like, hey, you know, watch me go into this box. And then the box, you he opens the box and you're just gone. Like, you pulled a disappearing act. <laughs> so, this person, they feel like you're leaving them. That you are going to choose somebody else, another option, and then be gone. That's how they're feeling. I don't know what's happened between the two of you, but they feel like they've lost you or they're about to lose you. Yeah, this person's heartbroken over the thought of this. Um, they know that, like, they, that you're going to be leaving. Yeah, it's like, they feel it almost like it, it's a faded event for you to leave them. <laughs> like, um, wow, this is kind of sad, like. Yeah, and you know what? They it's just like they they have this like um instinct that there's going to be a third party 
and that they're going to get their heart broken. So I don't know why they're under this impression, but they feel like that. They also feel like you are getting like offers of money or you're going to be getting offers of commitment. Maybe they think that they can't um, afford you or they're not good enough for you. Yeah, this person's really in their head. So they're overthinking all of this. I feel like it's really bothering this individual. Boy, so they're holding on to you for dear life. Like, they want you stuck with them. So their energy is, uh, and they could also be holding back and not making any moves towards you because of this. Yeah, this person, is they view you as somebody that they could have the Ten of Pentacles with. And they want things to be balanced between the two of you, peaceful between the two of you. This person's holding back their passion for, from you too at the moment. Leo energy, all this fire energy. So they're holding back their... Um, it's like they've iced you out, but they feel like you've got all these messages coming in and that you're you're not telling them. They feel like you're very high sought after and that you're not telling them. And, and here they are, they're getting angry. This is stressing them out. Yeah, they think you're juggling, okay? So this is how your person's feeling. Um, they have a fear that like you're out hoe caking it. <laughs> or that you're going to be out hoe caking it because look at this this not so this king of wands who showed up on the scene to begin with they're in they're in they're in anxiety they're in fear right now they have a fear that you're they're going to lose you and then here you are somebody is coming in with new love there is a new love offer coming this person knows it they're very intuitive so whoever this is you're dealing with they are intuitive I'll give them that. This person knows. If you're talking to somebody and you're not telling them, they know. This person knows you're the empress. They know what time it is. And they're thinking in their head like, huh, if this person's not talking to me, they're talking to somebody else because this person can't sit still for nothing. That's how they view you. They view you as a six of wands. Somebody who, the six of wands and the empress, they don't even have to make a move to get attention. They just, attention comes to them. So that's what this person's thinking. Like, if they're not giving me attention, it's going to somebody else. So every time you put them out in the cold and you say, I got work to do or I got to go shopping. I mean, this person thinks the worst. Okay, so that's how they view you. So in the extended, I'll tap in on their true intentions, what they want with you and what actions they're about to take towards you here in the month of November and how things are going to happen between the two of you. But look down here. <clears throat> Once again, they view you as very good looking, very independent, and they're jealous. This person is very jealous. Uh, and they want to be the one who gets you. They want to defeat any contenders. <laughs> so you got people coming here. It'll probably show up in your reading this new love too. Okay. So matter of fact, in the extended all do y'all. I'll do that for y'all. I'll ask about new love. So we're going to ask about this person you're dealing with. Okay. That you're thinking of. Um, how they feel, their true intentions, and future actions for November. And then I'll ask about what um, is coming in new love. Okay. But this person, um, man, you've got them all in their feelings. Like they, they think they're going to, they don't think they're going to get picked. Um, so let's see. Look at that. One, one, one. All new. <laughs> Maybe they're not getting picked. No. <laughs> This is perfect alignment. Whatever's happening, this is meant to happen, okay? 626-111, angel number. The damn Virgo, Aries, Leo, Cancer. Gemini, Aries, Taurus, Cancer. Capricorn, Libra, Sag, Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Pisces, Aquarius. They told me to flip. Scorpio, Sag, Leo. Okay. So that's who you could be dealing with. Okay. We'll see you guys in the extended. If you want that, it's only $8. You just cash out, PayPal me, Vimo, whichever one you have. Uh, screenshot the payment and then email me. And then I'll send you the link to watch it. Okay. You can watch it unlimited. I don't never delete them. 
just make sure that you, when you cash at me, or I only have one K in my name. Don't put two Ks or it goes to somebody else. Um, and then when you email me, make sure you put that dot. It's spelled just like that. So you may want to screenshot it, okay? Um, and if you go to my spam folder, I'll still see you. I check my spam like about every hour. Because sometimes y'all, when I do extended, you'll go to my spam, but I check it, okay? So we'll see you guys there. Thank you so much and love y'all.